Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go through um, how to complete the VAT return. Well, I've done it for you. I'm just going to show you where you get the figures from in the actual ledger accounts, which is an important uh, skill you need for your examination. So starting with box number one, we need the VAT due on the period of sales and other outputs. Well, all we're going to do now is just go to the VAT control account on the VAT account. And you're looking for VAT on your sales. That's the figure there put it in yellow and that figure goes straight into box number one remember if there were any uh, sales returns it would be on this side on the debit side you'd have to take that away from this figure but at the moment in this question we don't have any so that 108 640 goes straight in there uh, box number two is a fact on acquisitions uh, from other EU, mem EU member states now if you go to the VAT account you won't actually see it we didn't you won't find the VAT on acquisitions in the VAT account. In the question, it will actually tell you, as it does there, that that's the VAT on acquisitions. And actually, if you see, there are the acquisitions there. If you times that by 20%, you actually get that number there. But in the exam, they, they tend to give that number to you. So get that number and put it straight in box number two. Box number three is just a subtotal of those two, number one and number two. So I didn't put any colour on it. And then we come to box four, purchases and other imports. And in brackets, note this, it says including acquisitions from the EC. Now that number is this one. So we have to include this again in here, as well as, if you go to the VAT control account, this number. These are the VAT, this is the VAT, sorry, on purchases, UK purchases. And if I put another little blue line underneath there, we're going to add those two together and put those in box number four and that's how you get the 678818. Box five is just the difference between boxes three and four, hence no colour. Now remember in the lesson I say you skip six and seven and you go straight down to eight and nine. The reason for that is because you have to include these numbers in boxes six and boxes seven. Box number eight is the total supplies um, of goods to other EC member states so you would find that in the sales account if you go to the sales account up here you're looking for the word dispatches okay can you see it says exports so remember exports aren't to EC member states they're to non EC member states so that's why in that box it's actually zero box 9 is about the acquisitions from EC member states I've showed you that figure before Okay, can you see, remember, in the purchase account, it's that one. So let's put that, I think it's that colour there, as that particular box. Put that down here, box number nine. Then go back up to six and seven. These are really straightforward because you're just going to get these figures, which is your total sales, from your sales account. So let me show you how I get 584, 501 go to the sales account and see this balance carried down that's the total of all the sales it doesn't matter that it's um, you've got some exports to non-EC countries you add them you want the total sales to report to HMRC so that color I think is that one hopefully let's have a look yeah well it's kinda of that color and then lastly this box, box number seven, which is the same kind of figure, but this time it's your purchases. Okay. And it says include your box nine figure. Well, that box nine figure is actually, if you go to the purchase account, it's already in there. It's just got the acquisitions there. So that's the colour. I think it's kind of an orange colour. And that's it. Go back. And that return is complete.